Hi, yeah. We okay? Right, so second vid, second lesson, and we're going backwards now. I've got to think about what have I done to that to make it into this one. So that one's kind of moderately okay. I can see that as my original 3x cubed minus 2x with a plus 1 added on the end. So that's not too bad because that would just then be a transformation. Zero, 01. Right, so let's have a look at this next one then. So my 3x cubed has changed to 3 over 2x cubed, and my minus x has changed, minus 2x has changed to minus x. So that one's kind of moderately okay as well. I've divided through by 2, but I've done it to both terms. So I've divided through by 2 for all of it. So I could see that as being, should really use f of x instead of y, to be honest. I might change my notation here to f of x. It's nicer. So it's like, it's like a half of, isn't it? 3x cubed minus 2x. So that then must be, as I'm multiplying 3 by a half all the way, that's a stretch parallel to the y-axis or in the y-direction, scale factor, a half. So then first two are moderately okay. Right, let's have a look at this one. So the first term has been multiplied by 8 and the second term has been multiplied by 2. Okay. Hmm. It's going to be the same with both of them, what I'm doing. So that's another thing. So multiply isn't, isn't working, so it's not like a stretch. But 8 is 2 cubed. And this is in terms of 2, and that's in terms of 2. So I wonder if my x has been replaced by 2x. So let's have a think about that. So it would be 3 lots of... We've got a blue there, hang on. That bracket wants to be blue. 2x all cubed minus 2 lots of 2x. Does that work? So if I have the 2x all cubed, that would be an 8x cubed times 3 is 24. So that works. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So I've replaced the x with a 2x. So then that must be a stretch parallel to the x-axis because it's with the x. And remember, with the x-axis, you do the opposite. So that would be scale factor a half as well there. I'm cramming twice as much graph into the same area. So I have to half the x value that I plot it at. That's the maths behind it. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, that one's quite nice. That's just a minus, isn't it? We just multiply through by a minus. So my f of x would be minus. Some of these are ridiculously tricky. To be fair, I cheat with these in the my art scheme. It's not very helpful to you, though, because you've got to learn to do it in the exam. So I'm multiplying through by minus 1, so that must be a reflection. In the x axis. So I've multiplied all my y values by minus 1. So that's not too bad. Oh, questions for you. Who doesn't like a load of questions for you? So you can do them in the class or you can do them at a home. So I will just remove these. And if you've got any issues with these, we can run through them in class, can't we? Uh, delete. Delete. There you go. It's consolidation after that, so that's just stuff for class. Right, see you later. Bye. -bye.